Hi, Jeff Ogan from Sport Dad Sports Photography. In this short video, I'm going to show you the basics of ingesting images using photo mechanics. A couple of housekeeping items before we dive into photo mechanic. Here's the ingest snapshot, and here are the three things I recommend you keep on. I've turned them off for the uh, demo. Here's where you rename the folder. Here's where you rename the images. And here is where and how to save the snapshot so you can reuse it later. So let's dive into Photo Mechanic and take a look at how to ingest images. Ingest is the term that Photo Mechanic uses to refer to the process of copying the images from the camera's memory card onto your computer. So go up here, File, Ingest, or I could use the uh, shortcut Command-G on a Mac. And then first thing I want to do if I'm just opening up Photo Mechanic for the first time is I'm going to set a primary destination for the images. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Master uh, Folder for Ingesting. So then hit open and now you see that it's going to go into master folder for ingesting. When I first started using Photo Mechanic, I would have created something like the ABC swim meet or the XYZ um, hockey game. But now I use variables so I set this once and forget about it. I'll come back to naming the subfolders automatically in just a minute. One of the nice things that Photo Mechanic does is it gives you the ability to set a secondary drive so it automatically copies the images to two locations at the same at the same time automatically. So when I'm shooting at a sporting event for example, I've got my laptop, my internal um, SSD on the laptop is going to be my primary destination, but then I've got an external drive on my laptop just in case my laptop fails. I'm going to turn that off for the sake of demonstration. So now let's uh, now that we're talking about the uh, the folders, let's come back here. It's uh, by default it's set here. I'm going to now set it to into folder with name. Now I could put here, as I said, like Susan's portrait session, or you know the the Jets versus the Wings as a as the uh, the name of the event. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use variables. So I can either come here and use, uh, there are tons of these variables. Stay tuned for an additional uh, YouTube video on how to use variables. But I'm just going to show you the ones that I use here. So date sort dash. So this is going to give me the date of the event. And then I'm going to put in the event name. So I've used these variables. I'll show you where they come from in just a minute. Next, I'm going to rename the images. So I'm going to call it sport dad. Uh, underscore and then event. So again I'm using that event name and then I have to add the sequence number here. So I can set my sequence number in this case it's three digits I can put it four digits let's leave it at three. Um, I'm gonna hit uh, OK and then a couple of other things when you're just getting set up um, incremental ingest, auto ingest and unmount. So let me explain these. I have all of three of these set on all the time. I'm going to turn them off for the sake of the demonstration, but let me explain each one. So copy the new images only. Have you ever done a shot, ingested images, and then put the card back into the camera, shot some more, and then ingested, and you're duplicating all your images? So in this case, by leaving it on, it's only going to ingest the, the new images. Auto ingest means that when you put the card in the card reader, it automatically starts ingesting. And then when it's finished ingesting, it's going to unmount that card. So you pop the card in, it automatically ingests, and it automatically unmounts, and then you just pop the card out. No issues, no, uh, no extra steps, and no errors. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I apply my metadata template. And let's go look at that metadata template, and here you see that it's blank. So this is where I would add all sorts of captioning information. Now, remember I referred to the event variable. So I'm just going to say sample ingest for PM demo. So that's the name of my shoot, for example. Close that. And now, um, if I have auto ingest set, I'm going to turn these off 
uh, for the sake of this demo. If I have auto ingest, I put the card in and it automatically starts ingesting. But for the sake of this demo, I'm going to point to this old uh, sample card that I have and then hit ingest. So now we come over here and we see that we've created, there's my master folder for ingesting. Let's add that to favorites so it pops up here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on there and there are the sample images. Let's make it a little bigger so you can see. And you can see now I've got the uh, file name on, on the first line and then the folder name on the second line. And how I do that, um, how I've got, got it to show like that is in the preferences. There is another YouTube video I've done on setting the preferences if you want to refer to that. So now that we've uh, done the ingest, let's take a look at the, uh, the ITPC data or the, the metadata and the keywords that have been applied. So you see here we've got the photographer's name. This uh, is picked up from the camera. I've set my name in the camera so it knows, um, it knows that information. And then here's that event name. So that's the only metadata that has been applied other than obviously the, uh, the capture time. So not much else in there and you see the photo and uh, now we see the same, same information uh, or, or lack of information on these other images. Now let's, uh, let's do it again. Uh, in this time what I'm going to do is let's uh, get rid of these and, uh, and re-import. So I'm going to move that to trash, say yes. And then I'm going to come back to uh, my ingest dialog. So now let's add a little bit more information to the metadata template. So we've got here just this, uh, this minimal information. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull up one that I've uh, already created. So this is my starting uh, point. So it's got my name, copyright information, all of that information um, is in the saved uh, snapshot here. So I now close that and select here and ingest. And then here we go, come back here, or I can come up here into my favorites, double click, make that a little bigger again so you can see the file names. Um, I'm gonna go here and you see now all of that information. There's the date and sample information. If I want to now uh, modify and go to say uh, this one and add additional information such as athlete, um, water, lake, water, skiing, and then save that. Now I come back and take a look at, we see that it's not on that one, but it is on this particular image. We see the additional keywording. So that works really well. This is kind of my very basic ingest. So we see here, if I come back to this one, this is kind of one that I could use every single time and all I would need to do is come into the metadata template and change the name of the shoot and perhaps the uh, the city and the location. So what I'm going to do is I like this so this is going to be my starting point so I'm going to save that and I'm going to call it something like 00 start with this one. Save that and now what you can see is I've got a list here and I've got a bunch of different ones that are more complicated um, or for specific sports. So I'm going to say start with this one. So I've now saved that and you see it's got my basic information. So those are the basics on how to ingest using Photo Mechanic. I'm going to do future videos on how to use more advanced techniques like using code replacements and hot codes. So make sure you like and subscribe so you'll see the additional videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.